Welcome along everyone, uh, another video for you on the uh, 12 scale scene. So what I wanted to talk to you about today was just um, your sort of pre-flight checks as it were. Um, so you've set your car up, you've got it, uh, you've balanced the rear pod, uh, obviously checking out one of the um, videos that I've done on that. Also on balancing the electrics in the chassis as well and this is a, a final install on my uh, new uh, x-ray x12 um, and I just wanted to go through how I uh, just make sure that I've got everything balanced up right um, and what I wanted to start with was just removing the side dampers here and I've also um, I've made the springs on the rear of the car this section of the car the side springs I've taken them up so that the the rear end of the car can move very freely and the reason for that is that I want to make sure that the car without any springs without any um, dampers on is is nicely balanced and one of the, the first point that I would want you to do is is just to pull the car to the front of the, the desk and if I uh, move this camera in the bottom of the screen here one of the things that we're looking for you to do I can move that back far enough so I can get both wheels in there we go what we're looking to do is I, I balance it on the front of the table I just want to make sure that both wheels lift off the ground at the same time and bear in mind there are no side springs on here, no dampers, so this is completely under the weight of the of the pod itself, and you can see that both wheels are lifting at the same time. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the front of the car, and I'm going to get myself a pen, pop the nib out, and then on the front of every 12 scale chassis. There's a little center point here that dictate, dictates the center of the chassis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that point, that nib, into uh, the point on that chassis. And I'm just going to lift the front of the car up. But before I do that, I'm going to pop a couple of 20 pence pieces onto the front end of the car. Now, people use one penny pieces. Uh, Obviously, the heavier they are, the more accurate they're going to be. So if you put paper on there, let's say going to the extreme, and I lifted it up, because there's no force on the wheels, it's not going to uh, roll the wheels off, or it's not going to make the wheel, wheels roll. And so therefore, you won't be able to uh, see which wheel is lifting before the other. This is about making sure now the front of the car is tweak-free before I start setting the, the rear uh, side springs. So I'm going to then pop the nib into the, the hole and then very very gently lift the front of the car up. I'm going to do that again. And what I would like to do, because I've been moving the car around, I'm going to do it a few times. Just making sure that the car is nicely settled. So I've definitely got a slight bit of lift on the left wheel over the right wheel. I'm just going to make sure everything is nicely settled in I'm going to go again that was better So I'm pretty pleased with the fact that 
both of those wheels or both of those 20 pence pieces are rolling off the front wheels fairly evenly. Yeah, so the left one, this, this front front wheel here on the left hand side is definitely showing a fraction more lift than the other. Now what I've got in my toolbox here, if I can just reach across momentarily, I've got some lead tape and I'm just going to cut off a little bit of lead tape. Not too much. And I'm just going to pop it on top of my transponder. Cut off a little bit more. Fingers and thumbs. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Both of them fell off the front. Yeah. So now they're both falling at the same amount. Oh, first time we've had this wheel lift. Yeah, so it's it's definitely made the, the wheels balanced. Now, the reason why I've done this is because what I don't want to have to do is start moving all of my electrics around at this stage because there is a small amount uh, of tolerance that obviously uh, this is uh, at its most sensitive obviously there's no restriction it's purely being balanced on the front wheels so uh, I've got these that that bit of lead there now I'm just gonna get my scales here and I'm just gonna show you how much weight that actually is just to change the balance of the car That's 2.4 grams. Now, I don't have any doubt that I could probably move my um, speeder or my uh, receiver over to the side a fraction, but I haven't got too much room to do that, being brutally honest. And I know the car is actually a little on the light side anyway, because I've got an extra 20 grams in the middle here. So it's weighing at 732 at the moment so the fact that I'm going to put 2.3 grams on just to completely get the car perfectly balanced uh, is good enough for me so what I would then do is I'm going to cut this up into strips I'm going to pop it underneath my receiver and then I'm going to then be confident that the balance of my car is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to cut that up into strips. And before I make any changes, because I've now got them all piled up, it'll allow me to add or take away any bits that might fine-tune even further it's all a little bit of a faff but these are all the bits that guys and girls do at home that you don't hear about and I think it's uh, as we've spoken about many times on the podcast and on these channels about getting your car as accurate as possible 
So there's my pen. Pop it back underneath the front wheel. Yeah, so I'm fairly happy. You've got to bear in mind also that how I push this pen up, if it's pushed at a small angle, so if I if I push it like this, obviously one wheel is going to slightly lift potentially more than the other. So I'm just making sure that the push is at the right angle. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So those pieces of lead tape will now get stuck together and then added underneath the, if I can get that out, <laughs> uh, that would then be popped underneath the transponder and that way I know it's all nicely balanced. So that's what I would do just before I go into um, race prep I'm going to do another video on the last minutes in the build up to putting your car down on the track just to make sure that everything is ready ready to go I um, hope that's been useful if you like the clip make sure you like and subscribe great to have you along for another video and uh, we'll see you all again very soon